March 31st is a sad day for Mario, our great Italian plumber boy. He is officially dead after 35 years of awesome gaming history, and now we need someone to replace him. Should it be Kirby? Should it be Zelda? Should it be Metroid? Where is Metroid Prime 4? You know what? I have a better solution for this. I reckon we choose Luigi to replace Mario. I mean, come on, Luigi has been following Mario on so many adventures, doing so many stuff, saving princess, saving the world, so on and so forth. So why can't Luigi replace Mario? Not to mention, he rescued Mario when Mario is missing. Mario is captured in a portrait inside a haunted mansion and also becoming a doctor while starring in his own DLC pack of the Wii U 2D platformer in the new Super Mario Bros. series. So, gives a clear vision that he could replace Mario, but he don't have the chances. Over and over again, Mario treats his brother really badly. For instance, in Mario Power Tennis, Luigi wins the trophy. What did Mario do in response? Stepping on his brother's shoe. How about in New Super Mario Bros. Wii? Luigi brings the air balloon for Mario and Peach only to get left behind by both two. So why Mario? Why did you do that to your brother Luigi? Not to mention you didn't even bring your brother to the vacation in Super Mario Sunshine. You just bring Toadette, Peach, Cup of Toad and that's about it. You know when Mario got imprisoned in a jail for causing chaos in the Delfino Plaza, Luigi could be there to save Mario. But no, Mario is the one to steal the show and that's about it. Luigi never get a chance. How dare you. And let's not forget the fact that Mario just left Luigi behind when he going on an adventure in Paper Mario. Just take the letter and just move on to your adventure and that's it. Luigi just sat there. And so we come to the present time. My theory is that Nintendo knows that Luigi has enough of this bullcrap and decide to get rid of Mario. 35 years of Mario has come to an end. Here's to another 35 years, or hopefully longer than that, of the year of Luigi as the new face of Nintendo.